What's poppin' fam? What's poppin'? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Lady Nika in with a quick list chat. Now, I was down over on social media minding my business like I always do. And I went over to Miss Shave Room and girl, guess what they got up on the Shave Room? Y'all know Tommy is in trouble again. The reality TV star was arrested again Wednesday night in Georgia. What's crazy about this is this is the second time she's been arrested this week. She was assaulted, I mean, she was arrested on Tuesday for battery, aggravated assault, and child cruelty. Tommy allegedly went up to her daughter's school and put the paws on her and ended up getting arrested. What they said she did was slam the girl's head into a set of lockers. After Tommy posted bail on Tuesday, she was released from jail in order to stay away from her daughter. Tommy, being Tommy, hit her daughter up three hours after getting out of the slammer, uh, according to TMZ underscore TV over on Instagram. Her disobedience landed her back in jail Wednesday night, and she is currently being held without bond. If you want more information on this story, you can go to TMZ or over to The Shade Room on Instagram or theshaderoom.com. Now, I feel like that's worthy of a conversation. Now, I have told y'all time and time again, it is my utmost, my utmost prayer is that Miss Tommy over on Love and Hip Hop Atlanta, you know, realize that she's been, she's been put in a position where she's being blessed. Now, I don't know if this woman has, is the, is the issue lying solely with the alcoholism or is this is a, uh, uh, a collaboration of the alcohol abuse along with the mental abuse that she has probably gone through as well as issues from her childhood. I don't know what the problem is, but clearly there is a problem amongst us. Now, last time I spoke on Tommy Lee, a couple people got in their feelings and went to coming from my throat saying that, you know, who am I to judge? Well, I'm not a judge, but I am a vlogger. And a part of my vlogging duties is that I come in when I feel like there's a story worth talking about and I weigh in my thoughts and opinions. I don't expose anyone, but I definitely talk about what's already out there. And this is a story that has been out there for the last couple of days. So with that being said, I feel a certain kind of way. I am not at this point where I'm ready to put Tommy in that same corner that I put Cry East lying ass in, that same corner I put Tamar Braxton Muppet face ass in, and anybody else that done got on my damn nerves in the world of entertainment, put their ass in that corner. This woman has a problem. Now, you can stand for somebody as much as you possibly want to, but we, I deal in facts bitch. And fact is, something is clearly amiss with this lady. Why won't she get her shit together? And what would possess you to go down to the schoolhouse, y'all, and get into an altercation with your daughter and end up slamming her head into some uh, metal um, lockers? Where they do that at? And if the people told you after you posted the $27,000 bond on that to leave the girl alone, why would you get out of jail and try to obviously come at the girl again wrong and end up arrested again? What's the problem here? That's clearly a disconnect with this lady, and I'm trying to figure out what it is. Now, you can say what you want to say about the, uh, what I'm saying about this lady, but the truth is something is terribly wrong. It's not on a key key basis that I'm speaking out about, Tommy. It's on a concern level now. Imagine what her daughter must feel like. Your mama came down to your school and then slammed your head into the lockers and embarrassed you in front of all your damn peers. And for what? When Karen King told y'all this girl had came with a lot of issues, nobody wanted to believe it. Everybody said Karen was full of shit and she was hating on the girl and yada, yada, yada. But it clearly, this ain't got nothing to do with Karen King. And we have constantly heard about this lady being in some form of trouble with the law. She averaging going to jail down there every four and a half months due to math. The girl got into it with her sister and her job went to jail. 
The girl had a DUI or some situation going on, went to jail. The girl was put on an alcohol monitoring bracelet and came on the Love and Hip Hop Atlanta reunion show and lied to y'all because she wasn't lying to me about she put that on herself. And now here it is. This lady has gone to jail twice in one week over the same shit. At what point do we stop looking at these people like stars and look at them like what they really are, which is human beings? And every human being got a story. It's something clearly not right with her. And instead of her trying to be a a rapper and a reality TV star, maybe it's time that Atasha look uh, think uh, to take care of herself as a person. See, it's one thing to be on this TV screen, you know, them TV screens and, and have people loving you and some people hating you. But at the end of the day, you have mental health is very important. You got a lot of people suffering from mental health issues and they go untreated and undiagnosed because it's the forbidden fruit in the black community. There's a disconnect here, a serious one. And I just hope that out of all of this, that it will finally dawn upon this woman that she needs to do something to better her life. She needs to go get help. And that's no more than I would want for any human being who is suffering the way this lady clearly is suffering. This ain't for stunts and shows. This is not funny. This is the unraveling of a black woman, and we we don't know what all is the culprit to to her falling apart. We don't know what what are the catalysts that are are leading that's leading her down this road. I mean, oh girl, yeah, I do think alcohol has a lot to do with it. But why is she an alcoholic? What has happened to her in her life? And she's chronicled that on the show. She's told us about. You know, her getting in trouble at a young age, being in foster care, uh, her mama not being there for her. We've heard a lot of stuff that Tommy has been through. And I'm a firm believer that if you got all that baggage and nobody ever shows you how to unpack it so that you can move around in this world somewhat sane, then you're going to act out in various ways. I don't think that she does this for to be on the blogs. I'm sure she hate this. But what is wrong with you that you can't get it together? That's the question. Y'all can go on on over to theshaderoom.com or tmz.com and the story is there. Let me know your thoughts and opinions down in the panic section about what's going on with Miss Tommy Lee of Love and Hip Hop Atlanta. Do you see the silver lining at the end of the cloud, at the end of the uh, uh, line for this lady? Do you feel like that now that it's very evident that she has a problem and she needs to do something about it? It's an old saying that mystical used to say back in the 90s that holds so very true today. He said, if you don't handle your business, your business going to handle you. And that's all I have to say about that. Let me know y'all thoughts and opinions. I know y'all waiting on green leaf and black ink crew. That shit is coming. I'm sorry. I just had a few minutes and I wanted to pop in on the line and say what I had to say concerning this story with Tommy Lee and, um, I'll come back later on tonight, and we're going to talk about Greenleaf and all the foolery that's going on over in the church. And then we're going to pussy pop on up to New York, and we're going to talk a little bit about these tattoo artists up there in New York uh, under the black ink heading, okay? We're going to do all that together, all right? Now, remember the death of your struggle will determine the height of your success. In the meantime, in between time, please remember to rate the video. Ratings get me recognized on these YouTube streets. Subscribe to the channel if you have not for the free 99 and hit your notification bell button so that each and every time that I drop a video or I go live from this channel, you will be notified. And as always, conversations always going on down in the panty section. I'm going to holler at y'all later with those reviews. Peace.